Hello, I'm Alicia. And I'm Esme. And welcome, welcome to the City of Edinburgh Music School Virtual Open Day. We are going to try and give you a taste of what life is like in the music school if you were considering applying for an audition. Let's start off with the most important thing, instrumental lessons. At Bowton, these take place in one of the 12 practice rooms like this, or one of the four ensemble rooms like this. There's a similar building over the road at Florentine in the Prairie School that unfortunately we can't go there today because of COVID guidelines. Anyway, let's crash into a lesson and see what is going on. So, we're here with Mr. Brown. Um, is Ray a good student for you? Ray is an excellent student. She's been uh, improving a huge amount and doing everything for the next grade exam. And she practices every day, even though it's her second study as a guitarist. But she's a really interesting player and she does a lot of different styles of music. So she's using the guitar, both kind of perfecting all the classical technique, but also playing loads of rock and pop as well. And could you tell us how you heard about the music school? I heard about the music school because I was a student here uh, many years ago. Um, and uh, actually my former teacher was Philip Thorne, who uh, was Ray's teacher until I took over this year. Do you play any other instruments? I do. My first instrument is voice and then my second instrument is guitar. Uh, how long have you been in the music school? This is my second year in music school. How scary was the audition? It was, it was scary, but I think if you just practice a lot, it, the nerves knock off a little bit, but it was fine. And are you glad you came here? 100%. I've improved so much, so quick with the teachers I've had, and just the education I get is so good. That's great. Thank you, Ray. This is Mrs. Bray's classroom, and I'm going to ask her about the academic music course. Uh, what goes on in here is some uh, history, music history and listening, um, and also some composition. Um, and uh, some theory, some music theory, um, all at specialist level. Um, so pupils take their SQA qualifications a year earlier than their mainstream counterparts. Um, and uh, the courses are not just about the SQA qualifications. Um, they go way above and beyond uh, what's required um, so that these musicians playing at a very high level um, have a, a, a good understanding um, of music to support that. At the music school in year three, we have a very much a preparatory uh, course in music technology where the students are learning basic um, music technology um, uh, processes uh, using GarageBand, learning how to use microphones uh, and recording their own sounds and applying sound effects. In the fourth year, um, we undertake the, the NAT5 music technology course where we have a, an assignment that is 70% of the marks which uh, in which the students will write a, a, a radio broadcast or compose a film soundtrack or even adding music for a, a computer game. Uh, then they also have a, a 30% uh, written paper or oral paper. Um, in higher music technology they undertake the same um, structure of, of the exam uh, except this time the assignment is in a lot more detail and uh, uh, there's a lot more learning um, around the course and outside of the course um, learning about popular music in its various uh, forms and stylistic uh, um, uh, shapes. Mary is an S6 student and next year she's hoping to go to the Royal Morgan College of Music to study popular music. Here she is, recording her own songs to make an EP for release and to use as a portfolio of her work. Mari, can you tell us a bit about the studio and your recording? So I'm usually in the studio on a Friday afternoon and recently I've been working on a cover of Take On Me by AHA and I usually get the mic set up and I use the synthesizer as well to record um, some backing instruments and um, on this computer I use Pro Tools and I can use different sort of effects and plugins and I can change the, the track volumes on this device here. Um, yeah, it's quite fun in the studio. 
Hello, I'm Miss Tully and I teach oral at the music school for Broughton High School and Flora Stevenson's Primary. And um, here's some videos of the primary students I managed to take earlier this week. I like the music school because you have lots of opportunities. I like the music school because we have lots of friends. I love the music school because after the Christmas concert we get refreshments. This is Amelia having a piano lesson with Mr Montgomery, aka Mr Monte. So, Mr Monte, how long have you been working in the music school? Uh, I've been working in the music school a very long time, more than 20 years. Um, I love working here at both Broughton and Flora's because of the engagement with the students, the way that the students are um, uh, encouraged to practice, to have two lessons a week, to have our regular concerts. Um, uh, our parents and uh, friends can come in and observe what's happening um, on open days like this. Um, it's a fantastic uh, facility uh, under the maintained sector so there are no fees that the students have to pay and we offer as you've heard uh, two lessons a week in all instruments and a, a myriad of different facilities and things that we do. It's a great uh, place to work, um, the building is fantastic and we get great encouragement from the school. This is Dr Mitchell in Elise's cello lesson. Could you tell me a little bit about um, if a student would be able to borrow an instrument when they came to the music school? Well, students can borrow good quality instruments um, from the school have a limited supply of them but um, the ones we do have are, are pretty good um, and uh, it's very straightforward you just have to sign an indemnity to say that uh, the instrument is under insurance of some kind and um, they'll take it home and practice. Can you tell us a little bit about the ensembles that you take part in? Yes, um, in usual circumstances I would have quite a busy schedule um, after school on Mondays, I would have string quartet rehearsals. On Tuesdays, I would have senior chamber choir rehearsals. On Wednesdays, there are twilight concerts. On Thursdays, I would have string orchestra rehearsals. And on Fridays, I would have string ensemble rehearsals. And there are also other ensembles that I don't take part in, like the jazz band ensemble and other small chamber groups that people have made up and they play together and make music after school. Uh, coming to a music school is a specialist music education, so it means obviously you concentrate more on music, more lesson time, uh, looking at theory, looking at music technology, looking at composition, everything to do with music. And it's a big commitment, it's a big time commitment, and obviously it's a lot of work involved. So it only really makes sense if a student's gonna go on to have a career in music or to study music at college or university. If you go to the Music School website at www.edinburghmusicschool.co.uk, you can see photos and videos of pre-COVID performances and school life. There's also advice from me on how to submit an online video audition. Bye! Bye. I can play my piano like every day and I know how to play everything, not everything but some things. <laughs>